So what would happen if we have a block placed on an inclined plane and it is sliding downwards due to its own weight? That's the question for discussion in this video. So I've shown here an inclined plane with an angle theta and we have a block placed on this and let's say to begin with that this block is in equilibrium position. So if you look at the various forces that come into play, the one force that will oppose the motion of the block will be the frictional force and I have shown it in the upward direction because this block has a tendency to move in the downward direction. It's sliding down this or it's attempting to slide down. Therefore, the frictional force will act in the upward direction. That's one force. Second force, of course, is the weight of this block acting in the downward direction. And this force can be broken up into its two components. One is the component perpendicular to the inclined plane. So this is one component and the other component, which would be parallel to the inclined plane. So this would be the other component parallel to the inclined plane. And with help of laws of geometry, we can show that if this angle is theta, then this angle will also be equal to theta. If that be the case, this vertical component will be mg cos theta. And this component, which is along the inclined plane, will be mg sin theta. For sake of understanding, we can also show this component, which is mg sin theta, over here. So, this component is mg sin theta. Now, if we look at equilibrium of forces, because first we are thinking that this block is in equilibrium. So, if you look at equilibrium, then if I take all the forces on the x axis, then I have two forces, Fs and mg sin theta. This is mg sin, mg sin theta. So, mg sin theta is equal to Fs. Or I can write down mg sin theta minus Fs equal to 0. If we do the same thing along the y axis, so what are the various forces that come? One is mg cos theta acting in the downward direction and the normal reaction to this will act in the upward direction. This is the normal reaction and we will show it by R. So, I will get this equation mg cos theta equal to r and therefore I can write down mg cos theta minus r equal to 0. We will call this equation 1, we will call this equation 2. Now, Let's say the block starts sliding down the inclined plane, along the inclined plane in this direction like this, with an acceleration A. So, if this is a block which is moving downwards, then equilibrium forces will be disturbed. And the equation that we will get is mg sin theta minus Fs will not be equal to 0 as we have shown over here, will be equal to mass into acceleration of the block. In the earlier case, the block was stationary, so these two forces were cancelling each other out. Now there is a motion of the block in the downward direction and that force is m into a. Therefore, mg sin theta minus fs is equal to m a. But as far as the y-axis is concerned, there is no change because the block is not moving along the y-axis at all. So the equation still remains mg cos theta minus r equal to 0. So I will call this equation 3. Now, we know that the coefficient of kinetic friction mu k is equal to f k by r. Now, in this equation, if you go back to this equation, I should replace this s by k because now we are considering the block as moving. So, this will be the kinetic frictional force and therefore, what I can do is remove this s and replace it with k. Coming back over here, mu k is equal to fk upon r. Therefore, 
एफ के इज इक्वल टू म्यू के आर विच इज इक्वल टू म्यू के इन टू आर आओ आर इज वॉट आर इज इक्वल टू एम जी कॉस थीटा सो आई कैन राइट डाउन एम जी कॉस थीटा एफ के एंड नाउ आई कैन री राइट इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री लाइक दिस एम जी साइन थीटा माइनस एफ के एफ के इज म्यू के एम जी कॉस थीटा is equal to m a we can take out m from all the three terms so we will get g sin theta minus mu k g cos theta is equal to a and therefore i can rewrite the above equation as acceleration a of the block is equal to g sin theta minus mu k cos theta thus we have obtained an equation for the acceleration of the block which is sliding down an inclined plane due to its own weight so this is the equation for that so here we have looked at a block which is sliding down to its own weight in the next video we will study this phenomenon further and look at what happens when a block is not sliding down due to its own weight but a force is being applied to make it move down an inclined plane and also a force is being applied to move it up the inclined plane so we'll discuss these two cases in the coming videos thank you